Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are set to go from Bank of California Stadium here in Los Angeles, California. Ten rounds of action. This for the Women's WBA Flyweight Championship of the World. But WBA supervisor in attendance for this bout is Julio Tan. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing green trunks trimmed in red, she weighed in officially 112 pounds. In 13 professional fights, her record stands at 12 victories with one defeat, two wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, representando Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico. Here is the challenger, Sule. And across the ring, her opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing red and gold. She weighed in 111 and three quarter pounds. In 21 professional fights, her record stands at 18 victories, two defeats, one bout even with seven wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Tokyo, Japan, she is the reigning defending WBA flyweight champion of the world, Naoko. Here's your referee, Ray Corona, with the final instruction. All right, we are ready to go. Ray Corona, the third man in the ring, representing Bassett. Long time veteran ref here in Southern California. Good dude. Really good dude. Bethel Durant, Blair Cobbs, and Marlene Esparza, our eighth and final fight. We had breakfast with Golden Boy. We had lunch with Golden Boy. Now it's happy hour with Golden Boy. Marlene Esparza, world champion, knows about Salem. What's it like fighting Salem, Marlene? Um, she's a very busy fighter. Uh, that was, that's really the main thing that I think about when I think of her. Um, it, you know, she just makes sure that she's always doing something, whether it's with her feet or her head or her hands or whatever, but she's a very, very busy fighter. Female fight, so this one with two-minute rounds. Nyoka, man, that's, that's just insane. Like, her, look at her, her stats. Head. How in the world is she fighting? at the elite level at 45 years old. This is this is the example of age don't matter. It's that clean lifestyle, stay in the gym, don't treat your body, I mean, you treat your body as a temple, no junk, no nothing, nice. and here it is. Yeah, very disciplined. I, you know, the thing with the, Sulem needs to use her jab more. I think that's one of the, the main things that I thought of, uh, what, what I was when I thought her, I like to see her do it more. She's been a really nice shot. <laughs> She's really smart too. With all the experience that she has internationally, she she tends to she tends to know someone's moves. Yep. How about this experience? Japan, Germany, Mexico, USA is where Fujioka has fought. All over Asia. Good crack handed by Simon Urbina in black. Fujioka has, has these things where though. He's, she's just throwing those nice, tight, fast jabs. I wonder what's going to happen as the rounds progress and what more do she throw in her game, in her repertoire. Right now, she's getting land, he's, she's getting hit by this, by, um, by Selene. As uh, Fujioka told Bobby D in the promotional shoot yesterday, age doesn't matter. I'm going to show you that it doesn't, that I'm still a champ. Love the attitude. Come after it. And this is a good scrap. A good opening round for Salem Urbina. Back in the amateurs at the U.S. Training Center, we had this issue, we had this issue, and Marlene's like, I don't remember this. Yeah, that she came into the about. that she came into the fight with so much pent up anger towards you that she was never in it. And she said, I realized I got to just let things go and fight. And you know this, Marlene. If you don't have the right attitude, the mindset, it really can affect you in a fight. Yeah, I know. Definitely, you can't ever take it personal. It's, it's always at the end of the day, regardless of what's going on. It's, it's about the boxing. I'm glad that they uh, helped their marriage a bit. I helped their marriage a bit. <laughs> glad that happened. Hey, Marlene's here for the people. Hey, <laughs> I'm here for the fighting. She's I'm here the, for the win. She's the people's champion. <laughs> Marlene, as far as the champion, who defeated Salim Urbina in their last fight. It was Salim's birthday yesterday, July 8th. So she's 31 years old. Fujioka, she's just landing a couple really good shots. She's playing with that distance and getting in and out of range. It's, it's, it's beautiful how she's able to step in there, get off, get off shots, and then get back out. Ooh, and then she, so then just landed a big hook. Yeah, so landing nice hooks. She's setting up her hooks really well. 
Does she look different to you today, Marlon? No, again, it's just the jabbing, I think, would, if she just were to follow behind her jab. I'd like to see more of that from her. Uh, not really the pumping, but actual jabs. Actual punches. Yeah, she's, I, she's I would like pumping. to see that from her. I think that, that would make a, a, a big change for her. Oh, big shot. But she's doing really well. And Fujioka's there. Fujioka's, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's game. Definitely the age is, doesn't show to be an issue right now at all. You can see her experience as well. Good movement by Salem Urbina. Light on her feet today. Mm. You can hear the section cheering for her loud. She has a lot of people from the Phoenix area. And Sonora, Hermosillo Sonora to be exact. That's where she was born. Good scrap, good scrap here. We have great counter punching coming from Salem. She was supposed to fight on the trailer car with Teofimo. Uh, also, here we go. We got a question. Blair, what does it say on your vest? That comes from Box Talk 101. <laughs> it says that I'm breaking hearts and taking names. This time. Seriously? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with many characters in boxing. It also says set fire to life. Oh, I like that. Set fire to life. Set fire to life shirt's coming soon from Blair the Flair. Ooh, Salim just landed an incredible left hook. Yep. And then you see on the back of... So Lance Trunks, it says, for you, Alexis, uh, in memory of her brother who was murdered at home on a home invasion, uh, who was also a boxer, as they were amateurs, and she's every single fight for him. Um, yeah, Alexis uh, was a really good kid, really, really good fighter, really talented. Oh, you knew him? Yes, I knew oh. him. I knew him. But we grew up, everybody grew up together, me and Salem, we fought a lot in the amateurs. Yeah, so that's what it says on the back of Salem's Trunks, for you, Alexis. Less than a minute to go in the third round. It's scheduled for 10. The vacant title on the line. Yeah, Salim is left going hook. up in this round. Incredible hooks. Exactly what the what the champion just said. Beautiful, beautiful hooks. Actually, I worked uh, your fight with Salim. She was in uh, the studio with me. We worked uh, the June 19th show from El Paso. Salim was my broadcast partner for that one. So she made her broadcast debut. So if you want to be a broadcaster, work with Bethel, you'll be fine. This I, I is I can tell you go. You work with me, you go on to big things. Absolutely. This right Good now, round. in this round, in round three, they are putting it all out. Fujioka is tough, man. Fujioka is, is, is throwing everything into every punch. This is a big fight. They're, they're yeah. both throwing everything they got. And it's only a third round. Yeah. Yeah, Fujioka's uh, concentrating a lot on the body. Uh, she's very she's been, technical, right? Yeah, she's been, well, she's been landing a lot to the body. Um, you not know. yet. This is it right here. We're not, and we're actually not drinking on the show. We're, we're, <laughs> we're having a good time. All water. Nobody knows what's in my bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, we're, dude, I feel like one of the fighters is going to have to rehydrate later <laughs> like, with all this water right Definitely. here. Definitely. Uh, yeah. And Johnny Wilde says, more Blair. That guy is bonkers, but he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> That you is true. Right, I'm bonkers. I'm insane. But you know you're boxing. Yes, he does. And you know who else knows they're boxing? The champion, Marlena Sparza. That's who you hear. That's right. A good scrap between Salem Urbina in black. Naoke Fujioka, the Japanese fighter. She made her pro debut back in 2009. She's 45, but she doesn't look it. She's bouncing around good. Yeah, no, she definitely does not look 45. Her age is not a factor as in that still. Fujioka has the legendary Ben Lira in her corner working with her. Salem has Joel Diaz as a second in her corner. Oh, oh good shot by Salem. From Salem. But Fujioka yeah. answers back. She comes right there. She was still, she's just still concentrating on the body. I think. Oh, nice shot landed by Fujioka. They both weigh 111. Uppercut from Fujioka, trying to go to the body. The angles from Fujioka are good. Yeah, she's creeping in a lot. Uh, no. She's not using little her jab steps. as much. Little yeah, steps. little steps. She's creeping in a lot. She's not firing the jab as much as she was at the beginning. As I say that, she throws two jabs. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sulem so answers with a quick hook. Sulem so threw a nice, nice flurry of punches. Ooh, Fujioka. Wow. Tough. That tough, was, tough, that was tough. like seven punches unanswered. 
Now Salem Cutting gets back. Preparing for this fight, I went back and watched the last three from Fujioka that I was able to find, and it's this. Action, action, action. She doesn't go anywhere. We'll be there for her. She likes mixing it up. Who's he going to fight? Man, we got a good one here. If you guys want any inquiries of uh, Blair the Flair, go to his cameo, and then he'll give you his answers. <laughs> Blair the Flair wants all the smoke and is willing to give an ass whooping to pretty much anybody in the welterweight division. Fifth round of action. Salem Urbina in the black. Naoko Fujioka, respected Japanese fighter, five-time champion, in the red and gold. Our last fight here on Go The Boys Facebook page and DAZN's YouTube, we had eight of them. That's right. So no boxing, all of a sudden we give you everything you need. 12 fights total. This is fun. This is fun. Did you look at this? He's like eight punches in a row. I know. See what's moving well. See is moving very well and getting punches inside the, the exchange. Frank Sean is liking this fight, so good competitive. And it's cool to have the fans here, they're good in action. Salem has some good fans here ringside. They're making some noise for her. But Fujioka is tough. Less than a minute to go in the fifth round. Marlene, when a fighter is like that in front of you, you know that you don't have to go find her. What do you do? Movement. You, you know, you gotta use a lot of movement and make sure that you're making them pay off that movement. Setting them, setting them, setting them up for things that you know that they're gonna walk into because they'll be right there every time. But I don't think that she's just in front door. Like, Fujioka, she's she's minding her distance and range. Yeah. She's stepping in, she's stepping out. It, it looks like she's just standing in front of her, but there's little movements that she's doing to get in and out of range. It's very slight, but when she does it, she does it well. And for some reason, when she's getting off those big shots, all those, uh, those, those flurry of punches, she's not really taking that much damage. Like right there. Yeah, she's she's blocking really well on the inside, but she's using those. She's using small steps. Small steps. Who's that? Who is? Uh, Fujioka is Fujioka. using small steps, coming in and out. Real Ernie it Green. Real. real Ernie Green. That's your boy Blair the Flair. Letting you know it can get real. Salem Urbina is actually a fighter who came to Los Angeles the last month to get sparring, and she fought uh, was sparred with an 18 year old girl named La Dinamita Vivar down at uh, NGBA. Boxing Academy in Linwood, a young girl who's a couple, couple of pro fights uh, from East LA, and she's like, you know, I'm in my 30s, and these 18 year old girls said, oh, I watched you growing up, and like, we're not necessarily sparring because they want to, they want to test themselves against me. That's what you get now, Marlene. Oh, I get a lot of that, and I love it. It helps me get sparring for sure. I never, I, it's not hard for me to find sparring anymore. But these girls are 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 getting really good. You know, extremely talented coming up. And they're, they're always trying to test you. You can never sleep on them because they're they're always trying to prove something. And, the, and there's girls now who are starting to box because their dad or mom take them at the age of five and they go through the amateur system. Well, and then you see what goes on with them. It's no longer like, oh, I'm a woman who started at 20 and it, those days are done. Right. And that's why the talent is where it is now because there's a lot of young girls. It's not it's not weird to see an eight year old or five year old girl in the gym anymore. I know for me, I would be whipping on the boys. Yeah. Yeah, and for me that was that was that was different when I was young. I started at 10, 11, and that was considered extremely young. And you see the growth of the women's boxing later on. Sanisa Estrada, another one of the pioneers, along with Marlene. Like, I feel like uh, Fujioka is controlling this fight in this in this round. In round six, she's able to get in, get out, get off shots. Ooh, like beautiful that counter shot. That was beautiful. Good counter from Fujioka. Pretty much the whole round, it was like that. Yeah, I know. Uh, Fujioka's catching her timing. Absolutely. So then was moving well at the beginning, but kind of didn't stick to it. I think she should go back to that for a little bit till she gets her legs back. Starting to look a little She's tired. working a whole lot of jabs. You see that? Yeah. Open hand right. Partially blocked by Sulam. But that right hand gets through for Fujioka. Final seconds of the round. A good scrap in our eighth fight here at Becker California Stadium, home of LAFC. So then finish that round off really nice. Right. A, a través del vaso, Banda Los Sebastianes jamming right now. Yeah, and there's only 10 rounds. And also, there is only 10 rounds. Now, so Marlene, you, oh, sorry, good job. But you've been a big proponent of three minute rounds. Yes. Let's keep going. <laughs> How come nobody listens to you for the women? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh. And Fujioka coming on strong. She goes Overhand straight right. to business. Oh, she dug deep and unloading this Fujioka. Okay. 
So she was passive, passive, now, boom, let's get going in the seventh. Yeah, I think she was doing really uh, well in the last round, and Sulem tried to close it with it being aggressive, so I think she's kind of trying to pick off, off that energy. Fujioka has two people in the crowd for her. Everybody else is Sulem. Fujioka's winning to the crowd. Yeah, a, a jab would, would uh, fix a lot of that for Sulem right now. Absolutely, but right now it's, it's Fujioka that's throwing the body shots and throwing the head shots and also being more aggressive. She's throwing more punches and she's throwing straight jabs too. Oh, oh nice shot! Somebody's gonna go down. This is a cat fight, baby. Both landed. What did they get Fujioka in the corner? Like, she just came out a thousand miles an hour right now. She's got the juice, as they say. And Salam is breathing heavy here in the seventh round with 55 seconds to go. You know, it could have been part of the tactic that she was going to the body so much early yeah. on because that they were expecting to close it. They were maybe expected to close it in the end the way they're doing. Another good power shot landed by Japanese fighter Fujioka, who was really a slow start of the first three rounds and then has been turning it on. Absolutely. I think I think the um, the champion in her observation is absolutely correct. She she focused on the body for a few rounds and I think she she uh, dragged this fighter um, uh, Salem into the deep water. She's getting tired. So you hear the screeching of two ladies. Those are Team Fujioka. They're the only ones that she came with. <laughs> two ladies, and that's it. And they're sitting right by the microphone. So that's who's screaming for Fujioka. A strong round for the Japanese fighter Naoki Fujioka, who told us age is a number. We're gonna come out and we're gonna put on a show. She's doing that as we're done with seven. A strong round for 45-year-old Naoki Fujioka. Absolutely. I'm a really fan. Is here. I'm a really fan too. I'm like, <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> You're hilarious. This isn't an act either. This is like legit six hours of Blair. That's why when uh, it's too much. Like, but people much. say like, are you like hot? Are you like, no, when you love what you do, it's never worked. This is we're loving what we're doing right now in the eighth round, and it's the Japanese fighter Naoki Fujioka who's turning it on the last couple of rounds. Yeah, Sulem's using her movement now. If she stays uh, with that, I think uh, she'll she'll do okay. She, she was, did really w well in the early rounds. We'd love to see her behind a jab. But instead, we have the Japanese fighter whipping out those jabs, whipping out those combinations, and pushing the aggression. Salem, so uh, so is not listening to Marlene because Marlene, the last three rounds, you're saying, I want to see a jab from Salem so Urbina. Yeah, I just, I just feel like it would fix a lot uh, of the situations that she's in right now. Absolutely. Right now, she's getting dogged. It's a lot, it's a lot going on, but she's, she's pretty much traveling from one rope to the next. As the boxing voice of the athletic, Lance Pugmire shows up. Oh, and another big shot. Yeah, Fujioka's letting him go. Make sure you guys listen to Lance Pugmire. Read him in the athletic. And you got a good scrap right here, Lance Pugmire, professor at Laverne University. University of Laverne. As, um, Fujioka has a strong shot. right. Fujioka has turned it on and the last two rounds has decided to sit on her punches and Marlene land the big shots. No, definitely. Oh, she Marlene she really set her up. Too now. <laughs> <laughs> She's I think she really did uh, strategize on that, on uh, starting it slow and concentrating on the body and then finishing it because she's she's Sulem's tired and she's really, really has a lot of in her tank still. Landing a bunch of straight right hands. Yeah. Another strong round for the Japanese fighter, Naoko Fujioka. 45? Nah, she looks good. I feel like Salim has a stronger punch. I feel like Salim is the one with the power. But right now, Fujioka is throwing the most punches. As we head to the ninth round, a good scrap between Naoko Fujioka, the 45-year fighter from Japan. Salim Urbina, 31 from Mexico. Early on, it was Salem. Middle rounds has become Fujioka, and we go to the final two. Nice movement. I like One, two that. from Fujioka. Fujioka's bouncing around on her toes, looking fresh. Yeah, I don't even see her concentrating too much on um, her defense anymore. She's kind of just using her offense her as her defense. She's using her feet, though. She's coming in and out. She's coming in and out. But she was catching before on the inside. She's not yeah, even she's not paying attention. Now. 
that, that leaves the opportunity for Salem if, if she can capitalize in time. But right now, um, Fujioka is pushing the pace. She's coming in the inside, and it's becoming pretty interesting right now. Separate two. Yeah, Fujioka just landed a big uh, right hand. Less than a minute to go in the ninth round. Strong round for Fujioka. Slim's moving nice. And you know, Marlene, I have not seen a jab. No, there's oh, two, okay. That was a pumping jab. She, if she were to throw, throw them like they meant something, again, it would help. Fujioka on the ropes. Gets out Using of there. Using her movement. Yeah, that's Those really baby good. steps. That's really good movement, though. She's got really steps. And now she even got her opponent on the right in um, the corner. She twin turned it on, huh? Yeah, she did. Get off her head. Get off her head. Get off her head. Fujioka's last fight was a draw with Tsunami, Tenkai Tsunami, who fights Tenisa Estrada later on this evening. And here, final seconds. Wow. wow. Looking fresh, looking good. Naoko Fujioka. As we head to the 10th and final round. Shout out to R. Kelly. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah, R. Kelly. <laughs> And right now, Fuyoka coming in. She believes she can fly. Landing her punches going one, two. I see a Japanese flag now in the crowd. So she has three fans, and she's winning a lot of the crowd. Somebody must have knitted a Japanese flag. This, this lady is yeah. growing fans. Yeah. She we, seems to be growing fans in this arena. Yeah. That flag wasn't out two rounds ago. No, it wasn't out at all. Yeah. Somebody knitted a Japanese flag as we sit here today. Fujioka looking Fujioka good. Fight. The tenth and final round. Oh, it's a good scrap and a lot on the line. WBA flyweight title. Hook for Marlene. I mean, Salem. To the enjoyment of Marlene. Oh, who's just you? putting the pressure on? She wants to close the show. Would you look at looks like she can go another ten? She really does. Yeah, she does. Uh, her energy is crazy right now. I think those, those first three rounds where we didn't know what was happening, yeah. we are figuring it out. She definitely was conserving her energy. Playing possum, possibly? Yeah, just concentrating on the body, hoping to get to this position. In the fourth round, she turned it on. Yoko Fujioka. The crowd is trying to cheer on Mar oh, Salem Esparza. But it's Fujioka pushing them back. Salam is gained all the way to the final seconds, which you see is part coming from the savvy Mexican fighter. Yeah, but the Japanese fighting spirit from Naoka Fujioka. She's won belts in five different weight classes. For a reason. Yeah, for, for a reason. reason. Her a fourth consecutive title anything. defense. You ain't taking her belt. You gotta, you gotta earn that. Every <laughs> single earn that. minute. A good scrap, a good fight. And they throw to the final bell. Respect to these two ladies putting on a good show. They're both gassed. And there you see Fujioka going to Joel Diaz, like hunched over, like, okay. <laughs> Every single <laughs> ounce of energy was left today. They hug in the middle. That was a fun fight. Knock them out, do something. Yeah, you have oh, yeah. to fight. Looking into this, the replay, we have we have both big shots coming from both fighters. Um, Fujioka is landing tons of punches, punches and punches. Punches and bunches. We also have big shots coming from from Salem. Nice movement, nice head movement. Big shots coming from both fighters. This is what you call exciting. It's a great, exciting fight with both female fighters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Hernandez scores this contest even 95-95. Dr. Lumaret, 99-91. Fernando Villarreal, 96-94. Your winner by majority decision. And still WBA Flyweight World Champion, Naoko Fujioka. It was tough. She had to earn it. But the Japanese fighter keeps her belt.